This call is now being recorded. <coughs> okay, good afternoon to all. Uh, so, in the last class, we are discussing about the different uh, extrusion types of extrusion, uh, the different types of extrusion defects, the mechanics of metal flow in uh, extrusion, and all. So, today we will be uh, discussing about a new topic, drawing. Drawing is also another type of uh, metal forming operation. <clears throat> like forging and extrusion. So uh, instead of, uh, in the case of forging and extrusion, so we are giving a compressive force. We are fusing the material in order to get the final product, or we are uh, giving a compressive force, or we are pushing the material. So, but here in drawing, this is a process of pulling the metal uh, through a die in order to achieve the final uh, cross section. Usually, uh, we will get. Uh, we are. We, uh, it is used to produce rods, uh, like uh, having a uh, uniform diameter and all. Bar, rods, tubes. Uh, these all are the products made by using drawing form. And also, cup shaped products and all we can make using drawing. So, uh, so this much. This process is very much similar to extrusion process. But in extrusion, the material is pushed out through a die opening, or it is pushed out through a uh, orifice which is uh, created by using the die opening. But here in drawing process, uh, we are pulling the material out through a die. So we are giving tensile force, uh, actually uh, we are applying tensile force or we are pulling the material out of the die. And this method is, uh, this process is used to reduce the size of the material, to increase the strength of the material and to get better surface finish. These are the uh, features of drawing process. So coming to the mechanics of drawing, uh, uh, like in other process, uh, like in uh, our extrusion process also, we are using a die here. So instead of pushing the material from the uh, side, one side, we are pulling the material from the other side here. So in this case also, this die angle uh, is, is playing a significant role or the die angle is going to influence the uh, applied force and also it is going to influence the quality of the final product uh, produced and all. Okay, so some of the major parameters in this process are uh, reduction in cross-sectional area, the die angle, uh, that is what is the initial diameter of the material or the billet and what is the final diameter of the uh, product to be manufactured, so that is a reduction in the cross section area. Then also die angle is another parameter. Then friction between the die and the workpiece uh, is another parameter because it depends on the material of the die, uh, it depends on the surface uh, finish of the die, it depends on the angle of the die also. Okay. And uh, last, last one is the speed of the drawing operation. Okay. So these are the different parameters and the die angle has got a significant in, uh, influence on the uh, final quality of the product as well as on the drawing forces. So this is the figure uh, what you can see here. Initially the area is A0 and A represents the final area that is the wire or the rod or the final product produced. Okay. So there is also a diagonal alpha here. So we can derive a, a drawing force in the case of uh, drawing process also. So here F is equal to uh, sigma F average into that is the average flow stress into a final area into uh, natural logarithm of natural log of the initial area to the final area. So that will give us the uh, drawing force uh, required to uh, make the final or manufacture or the, uh, get the final product. Okay, sigma f average is the main true stress or the average flow stress. A naught is the cross sectional area before drawing. F is the cross sectional area after drawing as you can, as you have seen from the figure. Okay, so here uh, you can see that the, uh, the reduction of in the cross section will be more if the drawing force increase and the drawing force increases, but the drawing force cannot be increased beyond certain limits because here we are pulling the material out, out of the die. We are not uh, giving the compressive force here. We are using tensile force. We are pulling the material out of the die. 
So this is because during the drawing process, yielding and plastic deformation should happen, but never necking should happen here. We know that whenever we are applying a tensile force to a, 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 a rod or a, a cylindrical bar, so if you are applying a tensile force, we know that if you are uh, gripping the to end of the uh, rod, and if you are applying a tensile force by using an universal testing machine, we know that the, finally the material is going to fail. So initially, it will uh, it will start to plastically deform. After that, it, it will start to elongate, and finally necking will happen, and finally it will break. So that is what is happening in ductile material when it is subjected to a tensile force. So here actually we don't uh, we don't want to make the material to neck because we don't want to reduce the cross section. Actually, uh, what is the uh, what is the cross section of the die? The same cross section we need to maintain while pulling. So the pulling force should be kept in an optimum value because if you are increasing pulling force beyond a certain value, it is going to make the material to neck out and finally to uh, fracture out. Okay. So, uh, so as the reduction in cross section is more, the drawing force increases. But the drawing force cannot be increased beyond certain limits. This is because during the drawing process, yielding and plastic deformation should happen, but never necking should happen here. So ideally, the maximum reduction in cross section area per pass is limited to 63%. So 63% is the, uh, uh, the value what uh, they have got after the experiments that 63% reduction is the allowed uh, reduction in uh, allowed uh, cross section uh, or redu reduction in cross section area per pass uh, is 63 percentage percentage in order to get the uh, uniform cross section or uniform reduced cross section beyond 63 percentage if you are increasing uh, we, are, we will not get a sound quality product okay so various cross section shapes can be made through drawing process using uh, dies of different uh, cross section or different profiles Okay, or like a round cross section we can get, or square shaped sections are used as a work material uh, and wires, rods and tubes of various cross sections are the, uh, are some of the end product of the drawing process. So based on the application of the drawing process, it can be classified into different categories. Like one is wire drawing process. So wires can be drawn out by using this drawing process in that. Second one is a rod drawing process, so the diameter will be more when compared to wire here, the rod drawing process. Then we can also make manufactured tubes by using this drawing process. So tube drawing process is there. Then one more is the deep drawing process, cup shaped products and all we can make by using deep drawing processes. Okay. So coming to the first one, wire drawing, you can see from the figure that uh, initially we are applying a tensile force to the uh, material. So actually what is happening, the inside material will be, will, will, will be uh, subjected to a compressive force. Okay. So wire drawing is the process of drawing flexible circular wires of very small diameter. So in wire drawing, the, the diameter will be very less. Okay. So wire drawing is the process of drawing flexible circular material, flexible circular wires of very small diameters. Then, uh, then bar drawing is there. It is it refers to drawing of bars and rods of large dimensions of various cross section shapes. Okay, so bar or uh, rod uh, drawing is there, and uh, in that case, the dimension or uh, the diameter of the cross the cross section diameter will be more. So the process of wire drawing is to obtain wires from bars of larger diameter. So initially the, the work, work material or the billet piece will be having a large diameter. So from that we are getting a smaller diameter by using some dies. So diameter as small as 0 0.03 mm can be uh, made with the wire drawing process. Okay, so not that value. Uh, uh, diameter as small as 0 0.03 mm can be made by using wire drawing process. And uh, always this is used as a cold working process. We already know that what is cold working and hot working. So usually wire drawing is done as a cold working process itself. Then rod or uh, bar drawing, <coughs> here the cross section will be uh, slightly more than compared to wire drawing. And the basic difference in the large, uh, the basic difference is in the uh, large size of bar stock used for bar drawing. Straight bars of round or other shapes are used here. And close dimension tolerances and good surface finishes are obtained in rod or bar drawing. Here the maximum reduction in cross section area per pass is limited to 45 percentage. So previously in, in wire drawing case it was uh, 63 percentage. 
but in this case uh, it is uh, it is fixed to 45 percentage the reduction in coefficient is fixed to 45 percentage in order to get a sound quality final product the drawn rods are used for shaft spindles and as raw materials for bolts nails screws rivets and all okay the die geometry is basically conical so we know that so the conical means uh, it is having a certain degree ang angle angle it is inclined to a particular uh, so it is it is having a bell shape and ready to promote lubrication of die so half die angle or semi cone angle fixed here is it ranges from 2 to 10 degrees so the the, the semi cone angle is ranges from 2 to 10 degrees in the case of rod of bar drawing so when taking comparison of the wire drawing and rod drawing so in the case of wire drawing we are using it to reduce the diameter of a wire by pulling it to a single or a series of drawing dies and rod drawing used to reduce the cross sectional area of a rod by shrinking it by drawing to a die the same uh, methodology we are using here but the the, the cross section of the die will be different then drawn wire is uh, uh, it is wound as a uh, is a coil using a power reel so in a power reel we are winding these uh, drawn wires in the case of wire drawing uh, but in the case of rod drawing we know that the cross section is more uh, we have a thicker cross section so we can't uh what we can coil the rods uh, as in the case of a wire uh, but uh, by straight rods uh, with the suitable length we will cut it out and we will keep as, as a straight rod then wires are of as uh, lower diameter as 0.03 mm and rods are having larger cross sectional uh, shapes okay then wire drawing is done in multiple steps and rod drawing is done in single step so this is the comparison of wire drawing and rod drawing then uh, next type of drawing process is tube drawing so you can see from the figure that uh, different tubes can be also uh, drawn out uh, in a similar fashion like wire drawing and bar drawing so instead of a, a solid cylindrical shape we are using a uh, hollow uh, what hollow uh, raw material here okay so one more product we are using here is the uh, mandrel So we see what is the uh, use of this uh, mandrel. So here, uh, tube drawing is similar. It's, it's similar to the other drawing processes, except that the starting material is a tube. So previously it was a solid material, but here now, uh, in this case, it is a uh, the starting material is a tube. So these cylinders or tubes made by extrusion process are finished to the. Uh, means these cylinders or tubes the initially we need to manufacture those tubes it may be manufactured by uh, by some extrusion process and are finished to the required inner and outer dimensions by the tube drawing okay so initially the tube will be produced by using some extrusion process and final finishing is done through the tube drawing process okay so this tube drawing process is also used to reduce the wall thickness the thickness of this uh, hollow cylinder or the tube can be also reduced by using this process can also improve the surface finish and also imp also improve the dimensional accuracy in addition to the reduction in the diameter of the tube so not only we can reduce the diameter but also we can improve the surface finish accuracy or uh, the dimensional accuracy or the improve the surface finish and all so different cross sections like circular or hexagonal or square uh, tubes are subjected to tube drawing using suitable dies and mandrels <coughs> so this mandrel is a special a uh, tool which is used to control the inner dimension of the tube and shape uh, of the hole so mandrel is a tool uh, which is used to uh, shape the inner dimension of the hole so if the shape and size of the hole are not important mandrel can be avoided so if the shape and size or the dimensional accuracy of the inner diameter inner uh, suppose is important in that case we can use a mandrel otherwise uh, we can carry out the operation without using a mandrel Uh, so in such cases mandrel can be avoided so so again uh, this tube drawing there are different types of uh, tube drawing uh, used like uh, tube sinking uh, then we can use some other material like uh, fixed flex or mandrel for uh, in tube drawing also there are different types of mandrels like uh, fixed mandrel is there then floating mandrel is there then moving mandrel and all is there so uh, there are the different uh, types of mandrels used in drawing process
and coming to the next uh, topic which is the deep drawing process so this is another category of drawing and in deep drawing uh, it's actually it's not uh, in the form of a rod uh, deep drawing is a sheet metal forming process <clears throat> a sheet metal blank is radially drawn into a forming die by penetrating with a punch of mechanical action so this is actually like a punching operation here okay so here uh, the the uh, the blank the metal blank the initial raw material is radially drawn into a forming die by penetrating it with a punch by using mechanical force or mechanical action so deep drawing stresses the metal blank a little more than the yield stress but much lower than the ultimate stress of the material so it is not going to go in the case of punching or blanking operation it is going to break the material <coughs> it is going to uh, tear the material into two pieces but here uh, but here it is not going to break the material instead it is going to uh, make the yield the material uh, so we are the, the the force the drawing stresses or the deep drawing stresses what we are applying here is little more than the yield stress because we need only to yield the material deform the material to be a final required shape but it will be much lower than the ultimate stress of the material so if you are giving a much more stress it is going to fail the material in deep drawing usually the depth of cup so in deep drawing usually the depth of cup is uh, is one or more times the diameter okay the, the depth will be larger than the diameter then then only we can call it as a deep drawing operation okay that is if you are making a cup shaped product the depth or the height or the height of the cup should be more than the diameter of the cup okay so initially a round sheet metal blank is placed over a circular op die opening so initially uh, so you can see from the figure that initially a round sheet metal blank is placed over a circular die opening and is held in position by a uh, blank holder so we will use a blank holder to keep it in position then the punch is allowed to move down to force the blank into the die cavity to form a cup shaped product uh, as you can see from figure c okay so this is a basic process of uh, deep drawing operation so increasing this compressive force we can uh, we can get the final product as you can see from the figure e that's a cup shaped product we will be getting so the figure shows the different stages of uh, deformation during the process so when the punch is traveling uh, towards the final bottom position the blank experiences a complex sequence of stresses and strain so at the initial condition the initial condition at the beginning as the punch begins to push the earth it is bent over the corner of punch the outer edges of the blank move slightly towards the center at this stage and as the punch moves down uh, the material also moves down and the straightening action takes place in the bent metal okay so there is a chance of uh, the the during the process the flange the the, the, the flange is likely to wrinkle but the force applied by the blank holder reduces or eliminates it so the proper control is required here the proper control of the force is required here uh, in order to get a good or uh, in order to get a better results so ivide nammal endana ivide nammal compressive initially nammal drawing operation nammal tensile force kodutte nammal wires allengil bars allengil rods aanu draw cheyidu edukkunnadu alle appo wires aanu kada nammal roller il coiler il roll cheyidu vekkum rod aanengil adu suitable length il cut cheyidu edukkum but deep drawing operation is like it is like then tube drawing operation nammal endana hollow tubes aanu veikkunnadu appo ee hollow tubes initially nammal extrude cheyidu vekkanadu adu nammal inna inner dimension diameter korakkan vendittu allengil inner and outer surface initially nalla daata vendittu nammal tube drawing cheyyanadu but here in uh, deep drawing operations we are we are getting like cup shaped product that is the height or the depth of the cup should be more than the diameter then only we can call it as a deep drawing operation okay alling ad deep drawing operation avunnilla avade okay then next uh, term is deep drawability so what is deep drawability so before that uh, we will get a drawing force uh, similar to uh, other uh, forming operations we also get a drawing force here so that value i will i will give it in your notes uh, so if problems may ask from that section then coming to the next topic it is a deep drawability so you may get a question what is uh, or define deep drawability so during deep drawing the sheet material must be capable of undergoing a reduction in width due to reduction in diameter okay 
so so while conducting this deep drawing operation the material will be capable of undergoing a reduction in the width due to the reduction in diameter the sheet should also resist thinning under the longitudinal tensile stress in the cup wall so deep drawability is expressed it's a, it's a value it is expressed in terms of limiting drawing ratio or ldr so it is nothing but the ratio of the diameter of the blank uh, if you are taking it as capital d it is the ratio of capital d to small d or it's the ratio of the diameter of the blank uh, d before drawing to that of the cup or tube that is small d after drawing so the diameter before drawing to the diameter after drawing so before drawing it is a, a diameter of the blank after drawing it is a diameter of the cup or the tube uh <coughs> normal anisotropy or plastic anisotropy capital r of the sheet metal e is defined in terms of the true strain that the specimen undergoes in tensile loading usually the value of r that is uh, the, the the ratio of the strain is taken as width strain to the thickness ഇപ്പോൾ എക്സാമിന് അങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു വാല്യൂ ചോദിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മൾ എഴുതാം ആ ഒരു ഇക്വേഷൻ ആണ് ഇറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി ലാറ്റൽസ് ടു ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ദി ഡയമെൻഷൻ വിത്ത് സ്ട്രെയിൻ ടു ദി തിക്നസ് സ്ട്രെയിൻ ദെൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഡിഫക്ട്സ് ഇൻ ഡീപ് ഡ്രോയിങ് സോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഡിഫക്ട്സ് ഇൻ ഡീപ് ഡ്രോയിങ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻ സിമിലർ ടു അതർ മെറ്റൽ ഫോമിംഗ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഹിയർ ഓൾസോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ സബ്ജക്ട് ടു ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഡിഫക്ട്സ് first one is wrinkling in flange and cup wall wrinkling in flange and cup wall that is this is like ups and downs or waviness that is developed on the flange if the flange is drawn into the die hole it will be retained in cup wall region so initially in deep drawing operation we are using a metal blank so whenever we are applying a compressive force initially we will get a flange or a or a hand shaped part at the edge so actually this uh, flange is moving inside uh, in order to form the final cup shaped product okay so there will be some up and downs or some waviness on the surface developed on the flange and if the flange is drawn into the die hole it will retain in the cup wall region itself so that will form a defect there so that is wrinkling sulivu pole undavuga so that is called wrinkling in flange and cup wall the flange the flange region will uh, uh, ആ സൈഡിലേക്ക് എക്സ്റ്റൻഷൻ ആണ് ഫ്ലാൻഡ് ഫ്ലാൻഡ് റീജിയനിലും അതുപോലെ ഈ കപ്പിന്റെ വാൾ സൈഡിലും ഇതുപോലെയുള്ള വേവിനെസ് ഉണ്ടാകുന്നു അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ബ്രിങ്ക്ലിംഗ് ഇൻ ഫ്ലാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് കപ്പ് വാൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ബ്രിങ്ക്ലിംഗ് ഇസ് എ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഡീപ് ഡ്രോയിങ് ഡിഫക്ട് ദെൻ ടിയറിംഗ് ഇസ് അനദർ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫക്ട് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ക്രാക്ക് ഇൻ ദ കപ്പ് നിയർ ദ ബേസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ഹൈ ടെൻസേസ് പ്ലസ് കോസിംഗ് തിന്നിങ് ആൻഡ് ഫെയിലിയർ ഓഫ് ദ മെറ്റൽ അറ്റ് ദിസ് പ്ലേസ് ദിസ് ക്യാൻ ഓൾസോ ഒക്കെ ഡ്യൂ ടു ഷാർപ്പ് ഡൈ കോർണർ ഡൈക്ക് കോർണർ വളരെ ഷാർപ്പ് ഡൈക്ക് കോർണർ ആണ് വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ഡൈ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ ഇൻക്ലൈൻ ഡൈ വി ആർ യൂസ് ചെയ്യും അല്ലെ ഒരു ആംഗുലർ ഡൈ ആണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യും അപ്പോൾ ഡൈ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ അത് ഒറിസോണ്ടൽ അല്ല സംടൈംസ് ഓൺലി ദർ വിൽ ബി എ പോയിന്റ് സ്മോൾ ഏരിയ ഓഫ് കോണ്ടാക്ട് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദി ഡൈ ആൻഡ് ദ മെറ്റീരിയൽ അല്ലെ ആംഗിൾ സ്യൂട്ടബിൾ ആംഗിൾ കൊടുത്താൽ കോണ്ടാക്ട് കുറവായിരിക്കും ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് കുറവായിരിക്കും സോ ഇഫ് ദ കോണ്ടാക്ട് ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് എ പോയിന്റ് കോണ്ടാക്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സബ്ജക്ട് ടു അനദർ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫറൻസ് കോൾ ഹിയറിംഗ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് ദ ക്രാക്ക് ഇൻ ദി കപ്പ് നിയർ ദ ബേസ് ഈ പറയുന്ന ഡൈ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന ഡൈ അത്രയും ഷാർപ്പ് ഡൈ ആണെങ്കിൽ അവിടെ എന്താ സംഭവിക്കും ക്രാക്ക് അപ്പോൾ സൈഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡൈ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം അതിനൊരു ഫില്ലറ്റ് കൊടുത്ത് റേഡിയസ് കൊടുക്കുക അല്ലെ ബിക്കോസ് വി ആർ യൂസിങ് കംപ്രസീവ് ഫോഴ്സ് ഇയർ ഒരു ഫില്ലറ്റ് റേഡിയസ് പോലെ കൊടുക്കുക അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം ഈ ഷാർപ്പ് കോർണർ ഒഴിവാക്കാം അത്തരത്തിൽ ടിയറിംഗ് എന്ന ഡിസെപ്റ്റ് ഒഴിവാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി പറ്റും ദ എഡ്ജ് ഓഫ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇൻ ഇയറിംഗ് ദ എഡ്ജ് ഓഫ് കപ്പ് മേഡ് ബൈ ഡ്രോയിങ് മേ ബിക്കം വേവി ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾ ഇയറിംഗ് this is caused by planar anisotropy of the sheet material so that is a material property because of the anisotropic planar anisotropy karana vanu namaku earring nalla oru defect kudi undaagunnathu then next one is surface scratches the usage of rough punch or dies and poor lubrication cause scratches in a drawing cup so itharathil nanu scratches ne namaku surface scratches varunnathu so these are these four are the different defects in the uh, drawing operation okay wrinkling tearing earring and surface scratches so ithrin karyangal aanu ee module il padikkanulladu appo ee ella operations il for example forging also there is a uh, forging force equation is there or the stress equation is there then for extrusion also there is an equation for the force force produced in extrusion 
uh, for deep drawing also there is an equation uh, relating to the uh, stress or the force so adu mai base cheyidulla problems namukku okay, chodikkam namukku adutha cheriya problem nokkam just one note down cheya cheriya thalan problem a cylindrical specimen a cylindrical specimen made of annealed 4135 mm steel in the uh, uh, നെയ്മ് ആണ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റീൽ ഉണ്ടാവും ഫോർ വൺ ത്രീ ഫൈവ് ഒരു കാറ്റഗറി ഓഫ് സ്റ്റീൽ ആണ് ഫോർ വൺ ത്രീ ഫൈവ് സ്റ്റീൽ അപ്പൊ അത് നമുക്ക് അത് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഇല്ല സ്റ്റീൽ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാലും കറക്റ്റ് ഇതിൽ മാറ്റം വരാൻ പോകുന്നില്ല സോ അനിയിൽഡ് സ്റ്റീൽ ആണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അല്ലെ സിലിഡിക്കൽ സ്റ്റിസ്മെന്റ് മേഡ് ഓഫ് അനിയിൽഡ് സ്റ്റീൽ ആസ് എ ഡയമീറ്റർ ഓഫ് സിക്സ് ഇഞ്ചസ് വാല്യൂസ് ആർ ഗിവൺ ഇൻ ഇഞ്ചസ് ഡയമീറ്റർ ഓഫ് സിക്സ് ഇഞ്ചസ് ആൻഡ് ഈസ് ഫോർ ഇഞ്ച് ഹൈ so we are having a initial we are having a cylindrical specimen of 6 inch diameter and 4 inch height it is upset by open die forge so upsetting operation we know that like namaga the upsetting operation than adin dimensions korakkana or operation aanalle namlu hammer edittu so open die forging edittu adin upset edittu adin height namlu korakka edu so by it is upset by open die forging with flat dies to a height of 2 inch so initially the height was 4 inch from that we have upsetted it to 2 inch so whenever we are changing the uh, dimension or height is changed to 2 inch means uh, in considerable uh, what this di- diameter will be increasing alle appo volume on orikkal change cheyunnilla alle nammal oru oru saanathinte form edittu vera roopathil aakkumbodum the volume remains the same so it is upset by open die forging with the flat dies to a height of 2 inch at the room temperature assuming that the coefficient of friction is 0.2 calculate the force required at the end of the stock assume coefficient of friction new value 0.2 anengil calculate the force required at the end of the stock use average pressure formula appo onnu ellarum question one edi eduthe അതിന്റെ ബ്രാക്കറ്റിൽ ഒരു കാര്യം എഴുതാ അതിന്റെ ബ്രാക്കറ്റിൽ ഒരു ഒരു കാര്യം കൂടി എഴുതാ അതായത് ടേക്ക് ആവറേജ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ടേക്ക് ഫ്ലോസ്ട്രസ് ഓഫ് ദ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ആസ് സിഗ്മ ഫിസിക്കൽ ടു തൗസൻഡ് എം പി എ തൗസൻഡ് മെഗാ പാസ്കൽ ബ്രാക്കറ്റിൽ എഴുതാ ടേക്ക് ഫ്ലോസ്ട്രസ് ഫോർ ദ മെറ്റീരിയൽ സിഗ്മ ഫിസിക്കൽ ടു തൗസൻഡ് മെഗാ പാസ്കൽ take process for the material sigma f equal to 1000 mega pascal ne vidya namukku ara undakke namukku thanna karyangale give a diameter of the specimen 6 inch appo inches ne adellam nammal convert cheya inches ne ka nammal mm ilekku convert cheya athrey aanu 1 inch is equal to how much how much centimeter 2.54 alle appo 25.4 athrey mm ilekku veru alle The radius of the specimen R1 is equal to 3 inch, 75 mm. Height of the specimen, 4 inch. Approximately, if you want to round it, you can direct it. If you want to round it, it is 100 mm. The height of the specimen, 4 inch. Final height of the specimen after the upsetting operation, H is equal to, small h is equal to 2 inch. That is 50 mm. Given coefficient of friction equal to 0.2. 0.2 and also in question one more or data would be and then uh flow stress of the material you can take as sigma f is equal to 1000 mega pascal appi idile namukku ariyatha or value und r inde value namukku ariya alle final radius etraya namukku ariya appo nammala final radius namukku kandu pidikalam etraya ana final radius varuva initial radius namukku ariya initial height and final height are the final radius are not but one thing we know that the initial volume will be equal to the final volume no, correct no. initial volume will be equal to final volume so initial height and final height we are going to be equal to this is a cylindrical product so cylindrical volume we are going to be equal to pi r square h we are going to be equal to that is the equity that is using the volume consistency final radius of the specimen can be determined using the formula and then pi into uh, 75 initial radius 75 square into 100 height is equal to pi into r square into 50 etre r kittunnu nu parne 
In term, in mm, you will get the answer in mm. എന്താവിടെ ഫോസിന്റെ ഇക്വേഷൻ എന്താണ് ഈ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഒക്കെ ഫൈനൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ബൈഹാർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കണം അതിന്റെ ഡെറിവേഷൻ ഒന്നും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ചോദിക്കൂല ഫൈനൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് എല്ലാത്തിന്റെയും ബൈഹാർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കുക ഫിസിക്കൽ അപ്പൊ ഈച്ച് ടേംസ് എന്തൊക്കെയാണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കി വെക്കാം ഓക്കെ ഫോർജിങ് ഫോർ എഫ് ഫിസിക്കൽ ടു സിഗ്മ എഫ് ഇന്റു പൈ ആർ സ്ക്വയർ ഓർ സിഗ്മ എഫ് ഇന്റു ഏരിയ ഇന്റു വൺ പ്ലസ് ടു മ്യൂ ആർ ബൈ ത്രീ എച്ച് എഫ് ഫിസിക്കൽ ടു സിഗ്മ എഫ് ഇന്റു പൈ ആർ സ്ക്വയർ ഇന്റു വൺ പ്ലസ് ടു മ്യൂ ആർ ബൈ ത്രീ എച്ച് സോ സബ്സ്റ്റ്യൂട്ടിംഗ് ദ വാല്യൂസ് വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ഫൈനൽ ആൻസർ നോക്കി സോ ആർ പൈന്റെ വാല്യൂ നമുക്കറിയാം ആർ വി ഗോട്ട് എസ് വൺ നോട്ട് സിക്സ് എം ആർ അല്ലേ mu it is given as 0.2 r is 106 h we already know that final h is equal to 50 50 mm so we can and also sigma f is given as 1000 mpa f in the value of the kitum that means it is force so ivada namme mm il eduthu kondu adu pole thana sigma f in the value namme mega pascal il eduthu നമുക്ക് ഫൈനൽ ആൻസർ ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ഫോഴ്സ് ആണ് ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ന്യൂട്രൽ നമുക്ക് കിട്ടണം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമുക്കതിന് മെറ്റാ ന്യൂട്രലേക്ക് നമുക്കതിന് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് എഴുതേണ്ടി വരും thousand into pi into one not six square into one plus two into point two into one not six by three into fifty. So, I'm going to make a pass. I'm going to convert it. I'm going to direct it. I'm going to make a new one answer. ഫൈനൽ ആൻസർ ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് പോയിന്റ് ടു ഫൈവ് മെഗാ ന്യൂട്ടൺ വരും ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് പോയിന്റ് ടു ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു ടെൻ ബൈസ് സിക്സ് ന്യൂട്ടൺ കിട്ടുന്നില്ല ഓക്കെ ആർക്കെങ്കിലും കിട്ടിയ ആൻസർ
ഓക്കെ ബാക്കിയുള്ള പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അടുത്ത ക്ലാസ്സിൽ ചെയ്യുന്നതായിരിക്കും ഈ ആൻസർ കിട്ടുന്നുണ്ടോ റെസ്പോണ്ട് ചെയ്ത നിയർബൈ കിട്ടും അപ്പൊ നോക്കാം നിങ്ങളെ വാല്യൂസ് നിങ്ങൾ കൺവേർഷൻ ഇട്ടത് കറക്റ്റ് ആണോ നോക്ക